to a build instead. Because Bill's been sitting there for a while. And if you weren't here to see the um, previous uh, one, I did start on this a bit back and then I just got kind of angry. I, I need a word with you, because, uh, Morgan! <laughs> Plus, I didn't play it to the point where it spoiled what is it? anything. I was literally just like, okay. We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? Don't take Lenny. According to the fella I met, Honestly? yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. I don't want to be <sighs> Lenny. Lenny's too young for this. Okay. I suppose. Right. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm going to be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Lenny, I've heard you out for a minute. I don't know. Lenny's Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs? Apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay, let's move out. Okay, let's go. You let me you stay behind. Ooh, ah. many seems to young things at all. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need a work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Come on! 
So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? At first, I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured, they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that? And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. <laughs> not through lack of trying. Ah, uh, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, uh, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not oh. after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Reckon we'll skip the saloon this time, kid. No doubt. A night to forget. Yeah, next time I'll know what you mean by a couple of drinks. <laughs> Whiskey's got me in more trouble than a pistol ever has. What's that about whiskey? Uh, <laughs> keep going, Miss Jones. <laughs> Passing you. After you. Can't believe. You got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work it. Down and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. What the hell you think you're doing? No, Lenny's my favorite. What's the mask for? Good afternoon. Hi there. Lenny is. I know he's young. He's. You know, he's. It's like he's just. I'll go. Yeah, he's like he's just okay. Well, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Oh, yeah. So, we never decided. 
Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Whoever you are, I don't want any trouble, all right? Oh. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Don't act like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this full moon in my life. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody. Ah, Stay word up. Nobody move. Don't make us hurt you. Here. Unlock the door. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I the, 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 the manager does that. I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. I'll go check the front. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. How's it looking there? Yeah. Good. Don't count your chickens just yet. Bill, I'm going there. We're getting there. Give more minutes. <laughs> I 
That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. No, oh, I'm not ready. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Yeah, 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 I'm nearly there. I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. Only you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. 
Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
That was not worth it. Evening, Arthur. Hello. Marker. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around... Digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. Anyway, not... somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get mm. shot. He ain't getting shot, because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've got to take it. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed... A woman I love dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Be prepared for some place. Fine. Can I mount up then, Morgan? Let's yeah. go then. Mm. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had it. Pinkerton's coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? And we really 
afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, gonna... you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise is. of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty right. and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for it is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A <sighs> lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What 
What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. Yeah, handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. <laughs> With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. He's escaping and shoot him! Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. That's just we heard nothing and then all we heard was footsteps and that was it. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Sure. Sure. Dutch preach true. Let me go, Colm, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. Lord, an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed <laughs> Every time I just lost my stuff. <laughs> what are you even worried about right now? I'm worried about my life. What about my outfit? Well, somehow I got stressed.
next to me. I want to go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Sure, I feel you're right. It seems feels <laughs> What happened to the other two? I learned that was staying. Just so they could grab me. I learned that was staying. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He was gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. Good. I hate it. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Look 
a journey. What the fuck? Six It's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect. And a Ready, yeah. All them out there, they're that's laughing at me. That's that's always, yeah. the way to a man's affection, moping and pestering all the damn day. Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly! How did I miss? Oh, hey, Arthur. Now this one. Are you busy, Arthur? No. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way the stick goes. Mm -hmm. Good. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I don't think know. That My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Uh, uh... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Ain't you kind, sir? 
Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Yep. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> what the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River so Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. I still don't even know what we're doing. Okay, let's go. This way. Can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Dear boy, all this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Hold up! Here we are. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Let me just sit here. here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Yeah.
such a small show, but <laughs> would you see me something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> I have your card. The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. Uh, Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Hello. Oh, that's right. very good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> No! 
How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools.
Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. And a shitload of trouble. Yep. Gosh. We're gonna find the boy. I promise you. Gosh. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw yeah. a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to Don't touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now! Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him! Rest of you, let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! Oh, yeah, okay. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah. We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about John, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. John, I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. They and we are going to fix it. Plane. So I come on! No idea. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit That's, late for that, ain't it? That's gonna be okay. Quiet. Gonna we're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're going. Arthur, are you coming or what? Okay. We don't have all day. Yeah. 
Arthur. Arthur, we can't do this without you. Yeah, yeah. Not Come you. on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both no, these yeah, redneck yeah, families so. think they can ruin us? I don't Just think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Red lights. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you Respect the boy. Respect the boy. Easy, John. Don't We've come for the boy. You must have known we were. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Give us the boy first. Give us the boy. That's all we ask. Or you will die for it. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Why did he give me the wrong gun? Oh, that's just unfair, bro. It would shoot twice. It's like I don't want to shoot twice. I want to shoot me once. But that was gonna be the sickest standoff ever if I had the right weapon for it. Shoot me, sir! Which door is it, Dutch? Shit! John! Arthur! We'll hold them down here! We got more coming in! Arthur, get out there! We got this door! Cover! Grab the run! We got a chair! We need it!
can't see a goddamn thing! Darn. 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 Ow. One, two, three! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about down? Down. Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. Let's take the boy. this dog to the ground. Every single room in there is no more. That's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite. You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on! What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Why did you steal it? Get the dark. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. I don't know where the boy is. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. 
We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will that. die. Run, Run away from this that. place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. I would say kill him. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up. We need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Hold on, let me catch up. Just stick with me, okay? Anyway, you were saying. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, 
Every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. All right. Should be just down this path. So, you were saying? I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Everything all right? Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Are you gonna help me carry these then? Yeah. Follow right. me. I don't wanna take. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there.
Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You gonna meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world San Denis I keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right I guess this day ain't over yet not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. <sighs> Big cities. <sighs> They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes.
this is the I said earlier that I need to go back to the house. I need to get some kind of food because I really don't want to be sitting here and I need to stay back at the house and I need to buy everything that I can get. Okay. What are you doing? Take a seat. Only a trim or something fancy like? A real lady killer, this part is. I still don't know what to do. Yeah. Alright, I do some thing that I need to do. I don't know what it is, but okay, this is the Just thing. name your style. That's a bit better. Hmm. I say you look ready for a portrait now. Yeah, I think that it is. Please, tell your friends about it. Thanks.
Ryan. Let me vote. Don't mind me. Let me vote. We got a Let problem here. How are you? Hey, doing? move! Who's any you in the street? You savage! Should have moved. Why is it locked? Why unlock it? Why can't I get in it? But I can, I can go in Welcome. Let's have a look here. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. And I believe you, sir. You're still in the back section. Get the screenshot. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
If you have any questions, you just let me know. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional no quality. No Expect me. Could I interest you in trying that one on? Listen, man. Air fix, yeah? Gambler. Oh. You don't have that. No. Grizzlies outlaw. Not on that. Drove it out. There. People say us tailors all sound the same, that. but I find that rather offensive. Sorry. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? Oh, I see. People around here come in just for those. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Where's black? That is a local favorite. Short one. So what is it? Fancy pants. Fancy. Fancy. Let me know what I can do Which to help you leave here feeling good black. and looking great. I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Yeah, I know that. French dress shirt. French. He's wearing it, but I can't. Oh, that's beautiful. Cow puncher. Okay. The best. Opulent the best. Opulent the best. Okay, well, here's the problem. <laughs> here's the problem now. See, uh... I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Right, let's just get the coat. 
Man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Okay. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. That should be we good. We are closing now. If you have anything you'd like to buy, please let me know. Everything you need and more in there. What color speaks to you? Feel almost human. People around here come in just for those. Please peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. I only sell high quality garments. A pair of trousers from me is an investment in your future. Now, what is your preferred color for this? You can really feel the quality of that one, right?
We have styles for all persuasions, but yeah, I'm well, sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Not in a rush today. If you're still making your selections, I could stay open a little longer. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. That looks so much better. Thank you. Now what looks wrong about that? A new hat can change your life, and all of mine will change it for the better. <sighs> and that should be good. If you didn't get everything you need today, there's always tomorrow. Okay, what I wanted to do is go to the Are you well? I'm in a terrible state to be sure. They put the price of the beer up again. Are you well? Well, right now, there's no way I've deleted this bloody screenshot. Yeah, I was definitely. But basically that, that's pure blood. That's what it was. So but of course the guy didn't have it here anymore. I 